I want you to explain to me how these things work. Yes, we were just asking him um, um, how how we just installed this today. How it could possibly get to 237 degrees on a day when it's what 60 out, right? Six maybe oh, 60. It's in, the 50s, in the 50s. In the 50s today, yeah. and so somehow there's it's a heat exchanger and. One set of tubes has a special fluid that absorbs heat, and the other is my regular water, right? Correct? Um, not the, quite that the simple. Ma- the manifold has... You have to be there. Oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the manifold collects the heat from the heat breath that are inside the glass tubes. Uh-huh. The glass tubes contain a copper rod which leads the heat to the manifold, which in turn heats up the closed loop system of glycol water. And the closed system of glycol water carries that very hot liquid, namely the glycol water, through into the basement and functions as a heat exchanger. Like a spiral, it goes through your hot water supply, or what will become your hot water supply, and heats up your water supply for your showers. So it then functions actually like a what do you call that, like a heat rod that you heat up your water with? So how fast, how hot can it get? 500 degrees, right? No, we don't want it to be 500 Ah. degrees. In a very sunny place, Mm -hmm. um, it's gotten well over boiling. It'll easily boil water. And what's boiling? 212. 212. 212, yes. It was already. This is 237. It was already boiling. It was registered on -hmm. on the instruments that we put downstairs. Mm -hmm. Right? It was registering 237. We just turned it on. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now it will cool down. Yeah, it will cool down. It's going to cool down. As you bring the the water from from your heat exchanger up, it takes the heat out and brings it back down to the heat exchanger, which then in turn goes into your hot water system. I see. Okay. No, yeah. as, it, as it transfers the heat from the closed loop water glycol system and the, the copper water. pipes to the water that you actually are going to use in the house, the heat is transferred out of the manifold and then is not that hot anymore up there until the sunshine heats it up again. Okay. But so even this morning thing. when we did not have sunshine, right. um, when it was all cloudy and there wasn't even liquid up in there, the, the temperature was close to 100 degrees. Wow. So that so means now i got to get a steam bath for the house? That's right. <laughs> You've got a hot tub, Nathan. On the you overflow, the hot tub. you got to put it in your hot tub right now. Right. Right, right. Yeah. Right, okay. So um, maybe we can go downstairs and you can show me what it looks like. All Plus, the different elements? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, do we that. Can do that. Even yeah. though. So these, these you put in, one going in and one going out. And then right. you're going to insulate mm-hmm. those. Yeah. And mm-hmm. as, as soon as. As soon as there's a temperature difference between going up and going down, yeah. it only needs to be like 14 degrees temperature difference. And the pump will put the water that is already in the heat exchanger back up to make it even hotter. Okay, so then what's this here? That is the drain back tank, and it works as a heat exchanger. Ultimately, there are two holes on the side. That's where your plumber needs to plug in your potable water so that it runs in its closed pipe system through the hot liquid that is down there mm-hmm. and gets heated up and then goes back into your water supply. Okay. So just now, so you when have is the plumber coming? Well, the plumber has been saying he needed to finish your gas heater. And is that finished? Not all the way, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he'll do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a couple of days. Yeah, this, yeah. Okay. Well, just as well because today we needed to make sure that all the pipes are flawless and. Okay, so yeah. this copper pipe, one of these is the inflow. Yeah, this, it basically, it's, it's these two. You see, the mm-hmm. one goes around in a elbow mm-hmm. there, elbow there, and one goes in there. Okay, so one's an in and one's an out. What's this right. go to? This is just an overflow. Oh. And a valve, a pressure valve, just in case anything overheats. But we also, um, when we were fixing the system, we had to drain it all back. Mm-hmm. And there are various ways of being able to drain it all back out. One is to just let it drain into the drain back tank. But if you have to fix anything on the lower pipes, mm-hmm. which we also had to do, then you have to drain it at the bottom. You see the valve at the bottom? 
That's why you see a little bit of dampness down here, mm -hmm. because we had to actually drain this, the liquid out and put it's it back in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of copper pipe, and it's very durable copper pipe. It's thicker than your normal plumbing pipe, and therefore, it's supposed to last. Okay. 30 years. You what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must be on camera. <laughs> Hey, Jim. You're doing well on camera. Yeah, because the pipe is, it's a, it's a heavier than the hot water pipe. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. to make the pressure. So it's a heavier pipe. It lasts long. But it's also, it'll hold the heat there. Yeah. So we're going to insulate it. Yeah, you're going to put this yeah. stuff on it. Plus, a regular hot water pipe that goes into your system is not allowed to be 230 degrees like this. <laughs> Ooh, the nose is so big. This mm -hmm. is... um. Yeah, this can carry the 230 degrees, yes, yes. 230 degrees, without any mm -hmm. problem. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. They make the other pipe thinner when they're using it for heating a house. Mm -hmm. It's a thinner pipe, and it's a thinner pipe because they want the pipe to let more of the heat out. Mm -hmm. It's also low pressure. This is low pressure. Mm -hmm. But if you want to increase the pressure on this, you can. You could pressurize the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. both so much. <laughs> Get one. That's awesomely cool. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah. And Jim, you'll put it in if somebody wants one off YouTube. Sure. Okay. Great. Thanks. Bye. Because we get very high temperatures up here. Uh huh. We just had 230 degrees here. Wow. Um, that's just for the sunshine. Yeah. And um, we want to get as much of that temperature downstairs to heat up the water for the household supply. Okay. Um. So, we want to not lose anything to the air. Okay. And of course, particularly in the winter. I have the question. We get the same high temperatures from these tubes, but we don't want to lose the copper pipe. I'm going to see the best way I can see you while you're working, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of walk up here and take a look. Okay. Are you doing the article tour? Or just no, I just I just came over to take a photo. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the reporter will follow. I'll give her all the background. Yeah. There's a ladder there, and you can also you can stand on that thing if you'd like. Yeah, it's a, it's um you have to be careful; it can collapse. But, okay, all right. <laughs> but there is a good shot from up there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. perfect. Okay, so keep working. All righty. It's three thousand, right? So um, uh, I'm going to save my hot water heating bill, and so it's more like um, I think three thousand dollars, right? So a thousand dollars at least. I'd say about seventy-five dollars a month. So in three years, the system should pay for itself. Johanna, Sophia, and my company is Sophia Center. And I have a team, and today we're just wrapping up, and so only my team leader is here today. And I am here to make sure that everything is running smoothly and checking the last items of insulation. <coughs> the whole system, we, we installed the whole system. Mm -hmm. Not in one day. This is our last day. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm very glad that this could come together, and it's, Nathan has been a wonderful provider of alternative viewpoints and greening the community, and I am on that same track with my organization. So, it's, you know, it's all going toward making Oneonta ultimately a greener, healthier place.